What's up guys welcome back to Android app development tutorial for beginners. Now in this video I am gonna talk about recycler view and card view in Android. Now guys this is going to be very awesome module because recycler view and card view are very essential part for application development point of view and I am gonna walk you through every point that you will require to implement recycler view and card view in your awesome applications. So let's proceed. So why recycler view? If you have earlier implemented list view guys then you must be thinking then implementation of the list view adding animations to it performing operations like adding a row or deleting a row and updating the data was quite pathetic. Now all those issues are now being solved inside the recycler view. So you can say the recycler view is actually the improved versions of list view. As I told you Android animations. Recycler view has some default animations which we also can customize which was not earlier present inside the list view. We can also perform various operations like removal of elements or addition of elements inside the recycler view along with animations effects which is quite simple in case of our recycler view and it was quite pathetic in case of earlier list views. Now guys one thing to note here guys Recycler view is just an improved version of list view. That do not means list view is deprecated. You can still use list view but recycler view provides more flexibility to your application. Now you can also control the looks and feel of your recycler view with the help of what? Something known as layout managers. Now there are basically three types of layout managers. The first is linear layout manager. Second is grid view layout manager and the third is staggered grid layout manager. Now one by one guys I will walk you through all these three kinds of layout managers. So let us first check out what is a linear layout manager. I will just show you a simple example so that it will be clear in your mind. Now guys the images in front of you is actually an example of linear layout manager. You can see all the layouts are aligned one below the other in a linear manner. Now guys all the images that you can see in each of these images the elements are aligned one below the other. So this means we are having the linear layout manager in practice. Now guys the image that you can see here is actually a card view. So each element is having a card view and inside the card view we are having this image and also a text view and this text view and also the share button and also we are gonna check out what is a card view in detail when I will show you the demonstration of recycler view. So let's proceed and let's check out have a glance at staggered grid layout manager. Now what is a staggered grid layout manager? Now grid as the name suggests this image in front of you is giving the appearance of a grid. Now this staggered means this element is gonna take as much space as it is required. So it is giving a staggered look. This image was a square so it is in square shape and this image was a rectangle so this is appearing like a rectangle image. Similarly on the right hand side also you can see the same view. So it is called as staggered grid layout manager. Now let's have a look at the grid layout manager. Now in case of grid layout manager there is no staggered appearance. All the elements that you can see inside the grid are aligned uniformly one below the other and one beside the other. On the right hand side also you can see all the images are of square shape and are uniformly aligned itself on the app screen. So this is the grid layout manager without being staggered. So I think the difference between the grid layout manager, the staggered grid layout manager and the linear layout manager is now clear in your mind. We are gonna make all these three types of layout managers in our Android studio. So please don't worry about the codes. So now let's check out what are the important classes related to our recycler view. The first class in front of you is the adapter which provides the data and is responsible for, for creating the views for individual entry. Adapter is something which holds the data. Just remember. Now the view holder class, layout manager class, item decoration and item animator. I'm, a, I'm not going to discuss it with you right now because you guys are going to confuse. While I will show the demonstration inside the Android studio, I will explain each and every class in detail. So please don't worry about it as of now. 
So what are the steps that you actually require to follow in order to implement the recycler view in your application? Now the first step is the most important step, create the data source. Now the data source as the name suggests, it refers to all those data that you want in your application, which means what are the data, what are the images, what are the text that you are going to inflate inside each rows of your recycler view. So that is the data source. Now next step is to define a custom adapter. Now custom adapter, as I told you, adapter is something that holds the data. It is going to take care of all these data source and which data to inflate in which row is actually taken care with the help of this custom adapter. Now our next step is to set up the recycler view inside the XML file and Java file. Pretty simple. Now next we are gonna link the recycler view and our custom adapter. Now the scenario is something like this. We prepare the data set, give it to the adapter, the adapter takes care of the data set and link the adapter with the recycler view. Now the appearance of the recycler view is determined by what? The layout manager. And this layout manager is going to bind recycler view and the adapter. And the output in front of you will be somewhat like this. We are having a recycler view with an awesome elements. This is an element and this is an element. Pretty awesome. So this was just the introductory tutorial guys to make you familiar with the card view and the recycler view. So these are the steps that we are gonna follow in the next video. So till then, take care, stay tuned. Meanwhile, if you like what you saw, please subscribe to this channel and support us in a way you can. Thank you.